Today we're going to talk about the medical effects of electrocution because it seemed like we needed a ghastly topic for a crowd that's willing to come into a dark room for caustic topics on a Sunday afternoon, possibly the hottest, sunniest July day, almost in my living memory. So in 1881, the state of New York decided that hanging was an inhumane form of capital punishment. And they sought a replacement method for this, and they put a gentleman in charge of the project named Alfred P. Warwick. And Mr. Warwick was a man about his town, and one day he happened to notice a drunkard stumble into a power line. I am not making this up. And immediately, there was a great flash, and the man fell over dead. So, Alfred P. Warwick thought, aha, I've discovered the humane method for capital punishment. And it turns out that he was a dentist because that's who you want in charge of your capital punishment committee. And so he said, whatever we do, it's got to involve a chair. I'm not making this up. So, this is a very fast sketch of old Sparky. Old Sparky is the electrocution chair used in the state of Florida. We'll get back to old Sparky in a second. Now, how does electrocution kill you? Well, here's a mnemonic that's pretty easy to remember. Vader. First, gee, this takes longer than a minute when I'm lying. Voltage. You need a voltage in an excess of 1,000 volts. The reason for that is because your body's resistance is about 3,500 ohms, normally, but above 1,000 volts, the resistance of your skin breaks down and it drops to 1,100 ohms. The next thing you need is high current. You want in excess of 30 milliamps because at that current, the muscles in your heart clamp and you can no longer pump blood. Next, you need a du sufficient duration, typically in the neighborhood of 20 seconds or longer. Although the states in the US, which is the only country in the world that practices electrocution, other than the Philippines, during the American occupation, typically do repeated cycles just to make sure. And finally, the thing that kills you is the root. That's got to go through your heart. So those of you familiar with the electrical conduction system of the heart, and if you don't know it, I've got a video about it. If you remember the EKG wave, Here's the P wave, which is when the signal starts heading down the, vent down the atria. Just sketch those in here. They're a little bigger than that in real life. Here's the QRS complex in the middle. When the current is heading down the heart through the left and right bundle branches. Now, what happens is the T wave which is ventricular repolarization, sends the repolarization wave back up the heart. 
If you put an alternating current through the heart at approximately 60 hertz, which is about the average heartbeat, you get a phenomenon called P on T, which is the beginning of a depolarization wave on the repolarization wave. This leads to a cancellation phenomenon, and you produce zero volts in the heart, which leads to a phenomenon called fibrillation, where your heart pulses like a bag of worms and can't effectively pump blood. So isn't it good that Westinghouse picked 60 hertz for the standard current in North America? Europe, which uses a 50 hertz system, actually has a much lower rate of electrocution death by accident. But let's come back to old Sparky. In 1997, Pedro Medina, who was a very bad man, was sentenced to die, and his sentence was carried out on Old Sparky. He may not have looked exactly like this. <laughs> Wearing his hood. Strapped down. And then with an electrode on his right leg and then one on his head. And that guarantees that a current's gonna transit through the chest and shock the heart. Well, what happened to poor old Pedro is that flames began shooting out of his head about one foot. And the uh, witnesses to this electrocution were absolutely horrified that the man's head had caught on fire. And you'd think that the good people of Flora would be embarrassed by this, but in fact, it prompted the Attorney General for the state to say, people who wish to commit murder, they'd better not do it in the state of Florida because we may have a problem with the electric chair. Thanks very much for your attention.